In this presentation, we're going to look at hardware and computer systems. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to define the term hardware. You should also have an understanding about what a computer is and what an embedded system is. So a computer is basically a machine that processes data. The purpose of a computer is to take some form of input, process it, and then produce an output. Computers are basically machines that have been created to make tasks easier for humans. Calculators and smartwatches can be considered computers because again, they take some form of input, process it, and then give you an output. Hardware is basically any physical component of a computer system. If you can touch it, it's considered hardware. It is split up into two main categories, core components and peripheral devices. Peripheral devices are external pieces of hardware they're usually referred to as input or output devices. Input devices are bits of hardware that are used to put data into the computer. An example of this would be a keyboard or a mouse. An output device is a bit of hardware which is basically used to present data to a user. An example of this would be a printer or a speaker. When you use hardware and software together to process data or complete a task, it's referred to as a computer system. You have different types of computer systems and the first one we're going to look at is a general purpose computer system. General purpose computer systems are designed to complete many tasks and some examples of those systems are laptops that you can buy from shops, smartphones or even tablets. A dedicated system is a computer system which is designed to complete one specific task. Um, an air traffic control system in an airport is an example of a dedicated system. More commonly, a dedicated system is used in a piece of machinery which is again designed to complete one specific task. They can be referred to as embedded systems. An embedded system is defined as a computer within a larger system. An example of this would be a microwave. The small computer in the microwave is considered as the embedded system as it is dedicated to controlling the microwave and how it cooks your food. So embedded systems are usually used as control systems. They monitor and control machinery so that you can get your desired outcome. Um, they're dedicated to a single task and are usually easier to design, cheaper to produce, and more efficient at doing that one single task they're created to do than a general purpose computer system.